Shake. Good boy. Let's go. Caught a bass using a nine inch swim bait the other day. That'll be in bonus fishing at the end of this video. When that happens, it's a confidence boost. My confidence is boosted. We're gonna make a big open mouth swim bait and the open mouth is gonna be a lip. It's gonna do this. Let's get started. This is a piece of basswood, by the way. Thank you very much, subscriber, that gave this to me. It's uh, one of these things. It's got a couple of magnets. Stick your blade to that and saw you don't need the top block. Thank you. Looks like a nice piece of wood, too. First time using it. I feel kind of insecure not having something pinching it there, but I think it's working. It's really exposing some insecurities here. Worked great. That just goes to show, guys. Broaden your horizons. Defeat your insecurities. Man, sometimes it's just right on. The first, the first way that I put it in there is just perfect. I didn't need to move it. What are the chances? Probably pretty high because I'm so good at that, you know. It's the lamest way I've ever tried to make myself sound cool. Speaking of cool, I did a, I have to do the giveaway. I have to do the giveaway for the Chick-fil-A honey mustard and the swim bait. Let's pick somebody. Get on the YouTube. Okay, now I gotta get on a random comment generator. Commentpicker.com. Oh, from Facebook. I need, okay, commentpicker.com slash YouTube. Here we go. Your comment had to have the word cool in it. That's how I'm picking the right comments. I didn't even say that on the giveaway, but whatever. Get a random comment right there. Who do we have? It's generating the comments, one sec. Enhance, data, analyzation, beep, boop, beep. There's over 2,000 comments on that video. Oh, okay, I have to press start now. So many buttons to press. Did it do it? Oh, let's do it. There we go. Cape Cad. I don't know if this makes me cool, but my girlfriend and I love watching your videos together. Neither one of us are any good at fishing, but watching your videos has been a fun way to just sit down and enjoy something. Always look forward to your video. I work as the lead of seafood at Kroger's in my area, so fi Shh. I don't know what you were going for at the end there, Cape Cad, but you're the winner. Congratulations. Honey mustard, man. It's good stuff. And you get a bait. Give me your info. Well, probably when, I don't know how to do it. When this video comes out, I'll go back to that video and I'll pin you, find you. It's so hard finding you, the winners. What a hassle these giveaways, I'm just kidding. <laughs> anyway, we'll figure it out, Cape Cad. Back to bait making. Back to exposing some deep insecurities. That's really what bait making is. Well, I dropped it. The first of many Many occasions where I'm gonna drop this thing because it's just in your, it's pinched in your vise and you let it go. I'm probably gonna ding it all up, this beautiful piece somebody sent me. Sorry, I'm hard on my stuff. All of those lines will meet up. Now I can start carving. This swim bait's not gonna have a tail. It's going to have a tied feather treble made by Chelsea. I literally cut a notch out of the side of my dining room table so I could put a fly tying vise, like it had a rounded over thing and it needed to be just square and flat. So we could put a fly tying vise there and Chelsea could tie more feather trebles and bucktail jigs and stuff. We destroy dining room tables for the things we want. That's how we do it in my family. Anyway. You could have just clamped a board to it. Shh.
By the way, I've had a bit of a response to the segmented videos with the complicated swim bait. Seems to be a little frowned upon. I want to make complicated stuff now. Like I had a summer full of just doing one days and making some quick baits, you know, but I want to get back into this winter and as it's getting colder, make some complicated stuff. I'm so used to the one days. I don't know. I'm just going to take my time, I think. Put videos out when lures are done. A full, complete, beautiful video seems to be more appreciated than a, than higher frequency, frequency, than higher frequency of upload. So the way she goes. Is this a bass? Does that look like a bass with an open mouth? That'd have to be a large mouth. Five pounder. Oops, you didn't see that five pounder. <laughs> All sanded. The mouth is still very square and chunky, but I do want to leave a lot of surface area on that bottom lip, and maybe on the top one too. They both might do a little bit of water catching and cranking. By the way, if you're wondering where the complicated swim bait is, it's right here. I'm working on it. I'm gonna finish that video and one more video too. Complete videos, that's what you get on this channel. None of these segments and whatnot. What's next? That one's gonna take longer. It's complicated. I'll have this one done before that, and hopefully a fish is caught on it. Duh. Why does that even need to be said? It doesn't. Duh, hopefully a fish is caught on the lure you're making. <coughs> ah, basswood. I need to wear a mask. Don't send me masks, I got one right there. I'm just not wearing it. It's kind of, that's the kind of person I am. I'm gonna hollow out the mouth. Hollow. Hollow. It's not like Hank Hill. Go. <coughs> Darn it, Bobber. There's a dude recently. He commented, bruh, sounds like Hank Hill. I think he was talking about me. And ever since, I've been kind of self-conscious about sounding like Hank Hill. Anyway, I tried to go for a little bit of a tongue there. See that? Do all fish have tongues? I feel like this is going very fast. But what's next is to drill the eye sockets. It's gonna be a big eye debate. Chugging right along to carving the gills. This could have been a one day. I just make lures so fast now. I need to slow down. Take it easy. More detail. Okay, somebody sent me a flex cut. Carving knife. A detailer. Very fine blade. Skinny and whatnot. In the last video, I said a utility knife blade is the best, but the dude who sent me this said he doesn't want to hear it, and this beats it. This is better. We'll see. You don't want to hear it? Fine. We'll see. We'll just see. I know flex cut. I know flex cuts are really good. Super good carving knives. See, the problem is I'm too used to that utility knife. This feels different. It's even a big, like, curved. It's a wonky shaped handle, you know, that I'd have to get used to. I mean, I'm getting used to it already. You know what? Just in case this turns into a one day, just, just in case, it's 103. Not saying anything official there, I'm just saying just in case. I'm liking this knife. It has a, uh, a convexed bevel. It should stay sharp and keep it that way. I can keep it that way on my work sharp. Work sharp. Yeah, this thing's probably better. I just wouldn't be the one to be able to tell you that it is. I'm too old and set in my ways. That was a really weird angle to carve at. More subscribers sent gifts. A set of these things. Sanders with the belt. 
How perfect is that? That's super perfect. Wow. I needed some of this in my life a long time ago. Goodness gracious. Before I would have like a single piece of sandpaper and like trying to get in there, but this, this gets in there because it's a smooth side against the, the line and it's sanded, it's smooth. That's amazing, thank you. I need to put some of these on my Amazon store. Dang, you just do this, get some fresh stuff, back at it. I knew you already knew that, but I'm excited. The lead pot's been plugged in. Responsibility. I think I've achieved it. I think I'm there. I'm now a responsible adult. I remembered to plug the lead pot in. That's where we're at, but now I need to drill some lead holes. I want this to be a floater and it dives. So, a ton of weight is not necessary. I'm gonna use a 3 8 inch bit and I'm gonna do a hole up here and then I think a smaller one back here. Lead's hot! Time to finish cutting these joints. Very interesting bait. That is gonna look very interesting when it's done. Hope it works good. Another obvious thing, hope it works good. Okay, every joint connection is gonna come 0.2 inches off of the top and bottom. That makes sense. I'm marking that right now. I'm gonna drill those. Right into the lead, which is totally fine. Just don't eat it. You can drill into the lead, just don't eat the lead. Super glue bath. Man, basswood just soaks super glue up instantly. One day, surprise. One day. <laughs> On to painting, starting with white. Yeah, I just decided that this was a one day. We're gonna get a fish with this today. Now we're gonna get some moss green up on the top. Shoulder flank. Put it on the gill plates too. Now would be a good time to add the red around the mouth too. That way if I do get any on the body, I can just fix it. Okay, I got the bait laid out. I got some detailed black in the brush and I'm gonna go over it this way and add the lateral line and some stuff around the eye. That way the bait's all together. I don't have to paint each one separate or paint each piece separately. I'm gonna heat set that and flip it over. Bait's still laid out, but I got some gold in the airbrush now. And I'm gonna put the scales on the top flank. And that's it though, nowhere else. One piece at a time. Plenty on there. Can you guys see that? Yeah, you can see that. Added some sienna around the gill plates on the bottom. What do they call this? Sorry, that is not Sienna. Detail Scarlet. That always ends up looking good. I'm gonna come in with some gray right under the lateral line as scales. Just, yeah, that looks pretty good. Just to see what it looks like. Kinda integrates the lateral line into the body a little better. Beautiful. Okay, last step I'm doing on this thing is adding some iridescence around the gill plates on the bottom. Bass really, really have that, so this is some platinum mixed with a tiny bit of gold. 
looks a lot better from this angle. You guys see that yellow tongue I added? Kind of goofy, but whatever. Time to add some dead meat customized to this thing. Here we go. Oh wow. Good gravy. Jeez. That looks amazing. It should be becoming more and more apparent with every video that I'm a scatterbrained lunatic. I'm taking my surprise back, I'm sorry. This is not gonna be a one day. I need to calm down. I can't believe how beautiful that looks, those eyes. I keep looking down at it and it's just distracting me. I'm trying to say something to you guys. Yeah, well, this is not gonna be, it's almost three o'clock right now. I would only have like an hour to fish once I got out there and this bait deserves better. I'm gonna give it a full day of fishing I'm gonna try to get a lot of fish with it tomorrow. I can take my time and finish this tonight, put a good good clear coat on it, probably two coats. See, if this was a one day, I would just do one coat. This is getting two now. I painted this thing like it was gonna be a one day, but that turned out real good. Like, that is beautiful. Okay, sorry. It's the next day. It's been a little while. I just stopped doing things yesterday. Now it's the next day. Time to clear coat though. Got all the pieces. They should be plenty dry. Now I'm gonna dip them in a UV clear coat. God, that looks good. I did a good job on that yesterday. Woo! Chelsea tied a feather treble too. So we have that ready. Dang. There's that bucktail Chelsea tied for it. She made this one crazy. She put a lot on there. Looks good. I wanna see more of Chelsea's work. She just started an Instagram. A bait maker's wife? I'll link it below. She's putting everything she ties on there. Anyway, look at that. Look what I made. I made a open mouth, large mouth bass, three piece swim bait. Let's go out into the frozen tundra right now. It's 29 degrees, so it is below freezing today. Great, this is gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt. 1.8 ounces, put it on the big browser rod. Let's go to a pond and throw this for a while. See if we can catch a frozen bass or a frozen pike. There's pike in this pond too, let's go. Oh, I just saw a wobble. Look at that, shimmy shimmy. It's not very wide. But oh my goodness, it shimmers. That will do. I think it's not so wide because of that big feather treble off the back, but I still like it. I think I like the tighter action for this cold weather too. Get a thumbnail. It's time to catch the monster that lurks below in the winter. Well, that was weird. I have never heard this reel make that noise before, but it did. Oh, no, we're good. The one time thing needed to get warmed up. I don't blame it. That lip is working like a lip should. This bait is coming up to the right a little bit, so I'm gonna bend the line tie to the left. And yes, I'm able to do that with screw eyes even. It's no big deal. A lot of people think you can't do that with screw eyes, but you totally can. Just don't like rip it apart and split the wood. Don't go crazy. That's better. It's coming in really even now. I'm gonna scour this pond, fish every inch of it. But first I'm gonna go to the good spots. At least the ground's frozen. This was mud just a couple days ago. <laughs> well, still is. Oh gosh, cold feet. I bet those these fish are in the sun over there. I'm fishing in the shade over here. I don't know. I'm not a very good fisherman, but I'm gonna go try the sun over there. Could be that they don't want a huge seven inch three piece swim bait right now, but what is this? Look at that. That might've been my problem. It's just stuff coming loose. I've had this reel forever. I, I don't wanna talk crap about it, but oh, it's cold. Good Lord. I've resorted to a twitching action. It's just kind of flickering and stopping. 
This is a really good bait. I love the action of this bait. It's nice and tight. It dives exactly to the depth I wanted. Jeez, my poor reel. Wake up, hand. We have fish to catch. I just saw a frog jump in the water. How are you not dead? He's right there. He doesn't want to move. Don't blame him. It's a leopard frog, a tiny one. It's a struggle today. Not feeling very confident. Everything's breaking. Oh, did I just have a bump? Or is that my reel breaking? Oh, that's my reel. There's more frogs. I didn't know leopard frogs were so tolerant to the cold temperatures. I'm gonna make a frog bait and fish here now. Not giving up. Through the thorns to a better spot. Oh, a little wren. Look at that cute little guy. Lucky wren. Dang, that bucktail goes crazy in the water. Nice job, Chelsea. There's another leopard frog. Whoa. Even on a day like this, I can't stop fishing. I need to go home. I just keep casting. Bonus fishing! Getting old, guys. My body can only withstand that temperature for so long. I've never been one to fish much in the cold. Ice fishing, that's a different story. You got your tent, you got your heater, you got your suit. I'm ready for some ice fishing, but standing on the bank, winds a whipping right in your face. Fish are finicky. I'll make baits instead. That sounds better to me. Anyway, bonus fishing. Oh, I, I should give my impressions of the bait. I think that this would have been this year if it was warmer. Maybe like a month ago, two months ago. My most productive large swim bait yet. The action was perfect. The, this is perfect, I really like this. I'm, I'm sure the hookup ratio would be really good too because there's a, just an exposed treble hook off the back. This would have been great, unfortunately. Wasn't great today. Bonus fishing. This was like a week ago. It was warm that day and I caught some fish. I caught the most fish out of all of us that were fishing that day. On to the next bait and enjoy the bonus fishing. Bonus fishing with this nine inch swim bait. Why do you always fish with a nine inch swim bait? Gotta fish with what you're used to. Okay, maybe I'm not that used to it. Okay, whatever. My Fluger's doing better. I just shoved a lot of oil and grease in there. Now it's smoother. Ho! Oh! Baits with Nate got a fish. Look at that. Is it big? Oh, what a monster. <laughs> I need to go over there. Fish on. A bass. I made this, by the way. All of this. I made it. Jig head, powder coat, twister tail. It counts. It's official. Bass like jigs and twister tails that I make. Nate over there just caught a bait on a hard bait. Or, sorry, caught a fish on a hard bait. Look at that. Don't look at it too long. I don't want to get you guys' hopes up and crush them. This is my hard bait selection for now. Decisions, decisions. Decision has been made. That little fella's already caught its uh, what, six or seven pound wiper. This was the bait. Public ponds can be so good and so bad. What pond are you fishing at? You see my bass, Nate? Did you see my bass? Did you see my bat? It's about a 12 pounder. Yeah. They're about. Ooh, did I just break the lip off of this? Whoopsie doopsie. Dang it. Now I have to use a Rapala. Nothing against Rapala, it's just 
I didn't make it. I'm gonna get the scatter wrap on. Oh, good bass, good bass. Let's get this one in. Oh goodness, look at you. I'm going to weigh you. That's kind of a, I don't know how I feel about this. I just broke the lip off of one of my baits, put a scatter wrap on, and the next cast I get this. And this happens to be almost three pounds, three pounds. It's official. Bass like scatter wraps more than my baits. <laughs> you see that one, Nate? Good. <laughs> the last one was actually 12 ounces. I, sometimes I confuse my pounds and ounces. I know. It's a long shot. But I'm shooting long. I don't care. Look at that beautiful thing. Oh, fish on! That giant swim bait. It's a good one. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. What a beast. 2.7. Not bad for that giant swim bait. Whew. I'm kind of amazed. Now, now I'm glad I just got that fish on a bait that I made. Hey Cole. Yeah. You know that bait I made you yesterday? I just got that fish on one of those. Oh! Oh! Did you see that? That was a big swirl around this bait. Sorry, Nate. <laughs> Got it. I think it's that same pike. Nice. It's very sorry now, Nate. Oh, it broke. Oh, it was a pike. It broke off. That wasn't what I saw. I saw that. It was that same fish that went after this bait, though. I wasn't using a leader. I'm very disheartened. Don't, I'm just gonna go cry and don't mind me. <laughs> and oh, yeah. the guy that plays Joe Dirt, he ripped off the door and Chris Farley turns and is like, what did you do? <laughs> I haven't watched that in a while. Yeah, that's a good one. You're gonna like tip that tree into the water. I'm breaking all the Got it. I set the hook on that really weird, but I got it. Woo! I hope my GoPro's running, because I'm talking to it. I was going to be a dick. <laughs> you were going to be? <laughs> there. I'm happy with that. We can leave now, everybody. Be free. Oh. They're swiping at jerk baits, dudes. A uh, very big one just swiped at it right at the surface. I might have to put another battery in my camera. 